Don't tell me he just did that. Last fall, Eddie Parent was caught on this amateur video. What? Eddie clubs a fish that is on the small side and tosses it back. A nice fish like this. That's illegal. It had no chance at living. I did the fish a favor by what I did. Was it wrong? Maybe it was. Eddie escalated everything by mouthing off on What's camera. What the hell do you mean by that? I mean, the fish. in here eating all the fish. Okay. The incident, with some production touches added, ended up on YouTube. The video this month got Eddie a $1,000 fine. He's also banned from fishing for two years. They're talking about you. Oh, I know they are. Something else may actually hurt Eddie more. More than 300,000 people have seen the video. I go somewhere and if I'm noticed, oh, that's the idiot that killed the fish. A lot of things that are being said about him online we can't repeat. It has even been suggested he should be clubbed and tossed into the water. I kill a fish, so I should I deserve to be killed? Or I should be I deserve to be harassed? Where is that? Where it is, is everywhere. This expert says shaming on social media is a massive global phenomenon, with mobs of people who feel they are anonymous and able to say anything. There's no doubt that shaming is a really dangerous tool. You clubbed it in the head and he threw it. The man who was in the bow of the other boat is Mike Cowley. I believe he paid his price. He was convicted. He apologized. I, th I think it's, it's time to let it, let it go. Shaming, however, doesn't know how to let go. It's a powerful thing. Oh, sure it is. You can, you can say what you want and get away with it. And Eddie, while he waits for his fishing ban to end, has good reason to wonder whether he will ever get away from what happened on the water last year and what is still happening online. Harvard Gould, CBC News, Windsor, Ontario.